Lydia von Karstein was the third daughter of a Kislevite noble. She was a brilliant student who happened to stumble upon forbidden scrolls and tablets from the land of the dead. She was discharged from the abbey she worked in, and instead of returning to Kislev, she traveled to Sylvania, following her trail of research. She met a von Karstein vampire who loved her deeply upon first sight. She was soon turned by the blood kiss. The life of a noble in the Midnight aristocracy was not much different from her own homeland. Through plots and betrayal, she had her husband killed and has now paired up with Conrad von Karstein. He seeks to follow the empire and she desires the troves of knowledge hidden in their libraries. In their first foray together, the upstart Sylvanian rebels were quickly destroyed and the eastern lands were brought under their thumb. But their predilection for violence would not end there, for the hungry and troublesome halflings bordered their western approach. The mood itself is known as a breadbasket of the Empire, and some mortal servants are needed for their plans, but they were brought to an end, suddenly and violently. That is when the supposed Count of Sylvania, an audacious mortal, took Western Sylvania during the Vampire Civil War that was going on. However, he was given a master class in killing by the ravenous Vampire Army. Now we do begin our expansion. Hey everyone, don't forget to come check out my Twitch channel that is linked down below. If you do enjoy this series and would like to see several more Warhammer 2 series before Warhammer 3, make sure you do subscribe, share it around, and comment too. You know, comments for the algorithm god and all of that. And as a last bit, if you would like to support me, do consider becoming a YouTube or Patreon member. Now before Conrad attacks me, let's get into it. Our enemies are here and around us, and they have no chance really. They've come to my court, the court of Conrad. He's known for his very fast-paced dribbling of undead heads. Now, let's have a look over here. We've got a Fort Oversteyer. I'm going to upgrade it, 2000 for dark magic. I need to expand what I have. We've conquered so much, so now we've got to focus on elevating what we do currently have. Though in time, we'll need to go after Sterling. Though surprisingly, They've got a nice advantage. You're kidding me. I'll have to wait for a moment. I could go out there and fight them, but it's going to be literally batty. That's going to drive me crazy. I could give them one turn. But hold on, before I go do that, let's have a look around. Maybe I could bring in some help. That way we don't have to do that. I would rather auto-resolve it. Not because it's going to be a difficult battle, but because as you can see, it's going to be a very strange it's battle. Bell bats are very fragile. They can be good at you know, entangling archers, other ranged units, but really, they're not good overall. I'll take some casualties. Yeah, that's okay. All right. I could get some dark magic. I could get a bit of leadership, but it's only plus four. Those benefits never really seem worthwhile to me versus getting a bit of, you know, overall replenishment. There we go. A power stone, a scroll of blast. He was carrying a lot. Okay. I'm going to bring him back down over here. He's currently ranked 2. He's only meant to be kind of like a garrison commander for me. I'll give him that ability to move around. Okay. Now, hold on. We're not done yet. Level 8 over here. Let's see. Lydia. Now, I do understand that there are very powerful spells, but I like to build things how I want to. We could get him out right now. I'm not going to yet. But I am going to give her Bloodlust. Okay. We are going to do that. At rank 10, we'll give her Fell Nest. That way, she'll be able to enhance her creatures like the bar guys. Over here is Conrad, our dear friend Conrad. I can't wait to give him his first unique ability. But for now, what else do we have? More melee defense? My god, no one is ever going to be able to hit him. But instead, I'll give him more weapon strength. I want him to punch through hearts and souls, whatever he's able to hit first. Alright, so over here, we've got Van Hell. A very interesting character, and we'll learn more about him later on. Okay. We've got a gaze we could pick up. There's more magic I could get, for sure. What do I truly want over here? Curse of Years, Wind of Death. I'll get it eventually, you know? Raise Dead, level 2. Sure. I'll focus on what few spells I do have. We do have a shared Winds of Magic pool, so I only like to get certain spells. Now, over for Whispering Nell, I'm going to give her Gutter Fighter. There. Now she has even more melee attack. She doesn't like to miss, nor does she ever. So we did get rid of a very easy army that was really a training army. Now we get to replenish for a little bit of time. I'm currently expanding what I can. I'm trying to build up what I can. We do have our one patrol right over here. 
and I love having these. They will get stronger over time. But here's our kicker. We need to have more corruption. We need to have just a more developed area for that to work out. But we do have food around here. Templehof, do you have food? You're hungry. And over here, hungry as well. That's okay. We'll get more. It'll take time. But we are going to feed our mortals. Again, they're cattle. They're going to work for us. Then later, we'll move over here to the west in order to invade Sterland. They've got territory that I do want. Our actions have provoked Sterland. Now they are rising up with a large army. The Elector Count himself has come. That wretched and devout holy man will see to the end of the Vampire Counts if we do not stop him soon. He is divine, but we are accursed, and it'll be our undead legions that bring him to ruin. Let us get ready now for a new war. What a poor choice to make. He's fled, and here I thought he would take that location, but he only sacked it. He wasn't able to get much from that area, and that's okay. Now, I've got my army over here that is nearly fully healed up. In fact, if I want to, I could call on some fresh undead, which is what I'm going to do right now. I'm not going to turn you into skeleton warriors. I want my zombies here. Thank you. Now, whenever you end your turn and you begin a new one, you'll see your province patrol begin to move around. That's what they did. They're wandering. They're keeping my land safe, which again, I love that feature so very much. So over here, there's another village I do want to build up. Eventually, we'll come back over here to Drakenhof to get a few Graveguard. I could send in another army to do that. But before I do that, we've got to defeat Sterling. But what do we have over here? Rights of Dominance, 3,000 for Dark Magic. It would give me a higher public order. A higher hero recruit rank for Vampires. Cheaper recruitment costs for Vargulfs and Vargais, and a higher rank for skeletal and zombie units, which is fine as a brief benefit, but I don't need it right now. More importantly, I probably need to look at what I'm going to pick up over here. More replenishment? Crossbowmen? I'll take it, I suppose. We'll do it. Von Karstein. We are the Von Karsteins. We should probably go down that route. Yes. Now we'll be able to quickly and easily recuperate from any battle. Let's go. Let's have a battle today. Our very first battle for the day, and you can see what we have here. Quite the army organized in a raid against our foe. Our flying units are moving in right now. All of our infantry is going to follow them. Now, they have a lot of archers, which was a very dumb choice on their part. Let's have a look over here and see what's about to happen. There they go now. Look at all those archers who are about to be attacked. Again, they're in back country. I put up signs everywhere, but they're not listening at all. And that's okay, we're gonna get them. It might take a bit to fully eradicate them. I'm gonna wait for my infantry to move over here. They're gonna hit their left flank on my right flank. But there we go right now, just charge again. It's a deadly attack. That one guy, if you heard him, he said, the gods have abandoned us. He's not wrong about that. They certainly have. There are no gods for them today. There are no gods for them today. So let's continue to attack and destroy every single one of them. All right. If we have a look again, my army's moving up. Initially, I was going to move them over to the left flank, but once I saw what I did to them, I thought against it. I said, never mind. I'll come over here instead. We'll handle what's right over here. Now, I did bring in a group of spirit hosts as well. The undead can just keep them busy. And my vampires can move in and finish the job. Now, they've got some halberds, sure, but what can they do? They can barely damage them. They've got standard weapons. If they had better weapons or magical weapons, it would be a different story, but they do not. If they did, though, they would easily tear right through them. So here we go. I've moved out my flying units. Now, you're going to see me using Invocation of Nahek on my Vargais over here quite a bit. Why? Because I don't want to use up too many of my vampire population numbers. Not on them. Not when I can use spells to heal them up. There we go. There's one spell. And I'll be doing that in future battles from now on. Now, they're coming to join my main army. They're still taking their time. I love how they're all moving in sync. I suppose because we're only able to give them simple commands, but I do remember there being a mod that desyncs all of their movement. I'll have to go pick that back up. I'll have to find it later. Now, I did bring in another group of spirit hosts over here. 
because I've got my Blood Knights attacking as well. Look at them go. They're going to stay over here for just a little bit of time. They should be able to get several more kills. They've got over 80, but they are taking more damage right now. They are going to be fighting some Spearmen, which is not a good thing. Sometimes whenever they charge, they get too deep into enemy lines or they end up a bit spread out. And for a third choice, those two previous ones could happen together, which is what happened to me right now. I'm going to use a lot of invocations to keep them going. But here comes my army again. They're moving back into position. The original one that I wanted in the very beginning, I thought maybe they would need some help to you know, be free of the many infantrymen and archers they were fighting over here, but my fell bats and my bar guys were just fine. Now we still do have many more humans to fight. We're not quite done yet. There's a few more to go after and we'll take care of them. It shouldn't take too long, I hope. There goes my spirit host. They're only a temporary unit. Now I'm moving back all of my blood knights. I'm trying to. As you can see, there are a few that are stuck and right now I've got Whispering Nell who's currently moving into the middle of the enemy formation. She's a frightening one. Now, out of my many commanders here, which one would you want to fight? Whispering Nell, Conrad, Lydia, or Frederick, and why? Personally, Frederick might be my best bet, though he would summon hundreds of zombies, and eventually he's going to have even better spells over time. Here come some zombies. My flying units are coming back. Oh, that's got to be terrifying. There's Nell. There's my bar guys and fell bats. What a way to go. And so I'm over here, still moving in some basic infantry. I wanted to take my time. And she's got a special ability over here that she just used. Ghostly Howl. Look at that. Doing some damage to some nearby flagellants. Not flatulence. That's a little bit different. Man, what a cool mask. I like it. How do you even fight that if you don't have magical weapons? Guess I'll die! Now over here, the fell bats are still fighting some archers. Look at that. There's 50, or there were. Past tense now, if you have died since I last said that. Back over here, we're still surrounding some more enemies. I'm just taking my time. We've got Conrad close by, chasing after a few of them. Do I feel bad for them? Not really. They came here. They came to my neighborhood. Oh, one head just popped off. Yeah, between Conrad and the Blood Knights, they're done. Now they're moving back. Did you even have faith? That's why fear and destruction is on our side. They're not rigid enough. They're not trained enough to stop us right now. Eventually, we'll run into some humans who are much mightier, but there goes my Blood Knights. No hair here. Nary a strand of hair for anyone. We come back right now. Nell is still fighting. I don't always engage all of my units at once. Sometimes I like to keep a few in reserve to keep them fresh. Now for us, we don't have typical fatigue. We have binding. Our binding can become critical. The binding that keeps our magical puppets going, you know. But here they are. Waiting for the next phase of the battle. I've got some blood knights who are close by. There's a bunch of units over in the woods right now. Nell is nearly done. We've only got a few more to pop off with. Look who it is, Frederick Van Hel, and we'll learn more about him and even more details about the many characters in our cast as we go along. There's a charge. I love their banners a lot. Where's my banners? I want some. Now that's a battle. Those animations, everything coming to a freaking peak right now. They're holding on. Eventually, we're going to have more fell bats moving in, more var guys. I'm letting them rest up. I don't want them taking too much damage. If we have a look over here, we've got our murderous buddy coming right in, helping out Lydia. Let's check it out because we've got a good view of a large portion of the battlefield, or we did briefly. He moved so quickly. They're moving over. They're charging in, moving out. We're still fighting them. There we go. More zombies being summoned. I'm constantly using my invocations to keep those VAR guys afloat. <laughs> afloat as they're in the sky. Strange. All right, now back over here again. Let's have a look. We've got Alberic who is trying. Look, he's trying his best. He's like, you know what? I took out Fort Obersteyer. There were really barely any undead there, but I did it. 
Not to mention I'm being quite rude by bringing in a bunch of skeleton dwarfs. So let's zoom out and get a better perspective of the battle. So what's happening right now? They're surrounded. That's it. If there's a tactical change, I'll let you know. I'll go over my abilities, but again, it's all about just kind of watching it from a more cinematic point of view. So what did I do here? I used all of my flankers to flank. I had all of my, you know, binding units keep them busy. And we were able to use our more powerful heroes to break them apart. And there's Conrad. I'm still shocked that he's not a legendary lord because he's so darn strong. Oh, we can't see a damn thing. So we have won. The battle is over. We can now leave. The men of Sterland have been broken. Maybe they won't be back for a bit. We beat them rather easily, didn't we? Over here, we've got the Sword of Whispering Nell. She leveled up to level 8. Now, she gets some passive benefits like melee defense, melee attack, and she's able to succeed in actions, at least at a higher rate. She's also got a vigor loss reduction of 25%. She won't tire out, whatever that means for some ethereal form. And she also has a constant regeneration until her HP regeneration cap is at its limit. She'll be able to restore 4 hit points per second, and she has more magic resistance. She's going to be in the middle of a battle for a very long time. Now over here for Lydia, her new ability is not nearly as interesting, but it does belong to her now. Right over here. She'll be able to strike pure terror into the hearts of our enemies. But don't worry. Pretty soon we'll be able to get more interesting abilities, but have a look at my army. We had so few destroyed in that battle, we were able to muster up our full army to their full number. Now, I'm going to move a little bit closer to what lands they have up north. I've got to be careful because we do not have a lot of corruption up there. Now for you, Heinrich, I could have you wait over here, and I'm going to let him do that for now. Later, I'm going to pick up some Grave Guard. I don't know when, but in time. Now, why don't we repair what we have right now? I've got the magic for it. It'll take four turns to repair the village. That is a very long time. Over here, we've got a Forester's Shack. What else do we have? Really not too much. I could use more food, and I could use more growth. We'll take that right now. I've got a little bit of money left, but not too much. We also did get a new ability, by the way. Right over here, Steel Over Faith. The Shield of Devotion is a poor substitute for proper armor. <laughs> got him. So we get even more of our own favorite corruption, which is Vampiric, and we get 30 more armor-piercing weapon damage. Now that is deadly. We're already pretty strong. I'll take more armor piercing at any point. So now we just need to wait again. Then we'll be able to move in. Oh, we're doing fine. I mean, I do have the Von Karstein gifts. Crossbowmen, huh? I wouldn't mind having one, but only one is really not suitable. I would rather get many, many more. Initially, the plan was to potentially attack Sterland. However, Frederick had a different idea. We're to attack the dwarves. They do pose a threat to us, and they could attack us from behind as we try to launch our invasion into the Empire. And we also need new units as well. Sylvanian levies, reapers, graveguard, and many, many more. We can change the fate of the Empire later on. We'll continue to expand and consolidate our control over the region, but for now, we must change up our army composition and then destroy the dwarves of Shufbar. Once we do that, we can plan out future invasions. We can take our time. Time is on our side. Now, we could have gone with our original plan and expanded out over here into Sterland, but I would be overextended. I'll come visit them later on. If they do want a peace treaty right now, I'll take it not to be kind, but because I've got more important enemies to go after, if anything, I could burn it down, then move back over here. These are not highly developed lands from what I can tell right now. Look at that. Only a couple of buildings. Instead, I would like to get rid of a dominant foe that is right by me. They could come down and really give me a hard time. Though, there are many ruins around here. Oh, look at that. A lot of green skins, too. Not to mention a few Wood Elves up here. We'll have to watch out for that. They're right by Mordheim. Mordheim might have a few Skaven. I'm not too sure. We've got some green skins. What else do we have around here? 
A lot of green skins, okay. Well, I've got my two armies right down over here. Thanks to our good friend, Henrik, we now have many new units. We're looking over here at our Sylvanian levies. They've got shields and they are human. Our skeleton reapers, they have armor piercing. And we've got our grave guard. They shall hold up our core quite well. Now, it's about time to go to war with a new faction. Yeah, I could push on, I know that, but we've got a different choice to make today. Now, I would like to make a bit more food. Sure, I've got humans to feed. They're hungry too. All right, let's get ready now. So, I'm gonna come over here and declare war. I'm stronger, sure. Oh, they've got allies. Fine, I'll fight them all. I want to populate the mountains over here. It'll be a good buffer. Oh, here's another bit of land, a forest of gloom. Now, that is a lot of Azrai forest spirits, too. Wow, there are so many around there. We'll have to be quite careful, or there could be many issues we'll endure. Oh, and later we'll go after Averland. There he is, level 11, too, not bad. Wait, you're at a higher level than me? Cruel. All right, let's move up now. We've got to get as close as we can. There. Now, my turn. Hold on, we've got a Skaven agent. Interesting. Okay. I would like to think that Conrad has his own Sylvanian state troops here. It's a parody of what the Empire has. But to me, that's intentional. They're only tools for him to use, and here they are. They're all wretched. They're all broken. But they're going to fight and die for Conrad today. Now, let's have a look around at what we're about to do. We're going to handle a reinforcing army led by Grim Berlickson, that master engineer. We're moving right now. Now, my Sylvanian levies, they've got 27 armor, 92 leadership, which is actually pretty good, a decent melee attack, melee defense, and an okay weapon strength. Their charge bonus is at 18. Not too shabby. Now, beyond that, we've got some other units too like Skeleton Reapers. Now, these fellows over here have a really good 33 for weapon strength, 21 for armor piercing. They can melt armor. Not to mention, I've got those Skeleton Dwarves. Now, imagine being a Longbeard, being any Dwarf at all. Then you're seeing your own people really being desecrated by the undead. How angry they must be. They should be, too. And here we go right now. We're just going to engage all of them. Our reinforcements will probably keep the other army busy while we're here. They've got banners too. Beautiful clan banners. There's Nell fighting right in the middle of many miners. But look at that. We are slowly moving in on that flank, falling around a bunch of miners. They have armor piercing. That's okay. We come back over here into the woods and we can see what we have. It's meant to be a pitched battle. Now there's dwarves fighting dwarves. And again, that's cruel. That is completely cruel. It's really what's needed for the vampire counts to be able to bring up what other races they can because it's really a matter of intimidation. It's about really breaking them mentally and that's what we're doing right now. Now, Frederick is gonna bring in even more undead and he's very cool looking. Have a look at him. Meanwhile, that armor piercing is doing a great job. We can zoom out real quick to see what's happening. So on that left flank, we crushed it, completely destroyed them. Over here, we've got allies who are charging in. It's a bunch of fell bats, but again, their job is to keep them busy. I've got some blood knights over here on this flank, but they're waiting. They'll move in later to go after these thunderers who are just waiting at their rear. I've got Graveguard in reserve, but they're just really here to wait for any counterattack by the main army that we were meant to fight. But here we go now. We're getting a lot of them. The Var guys are feasting today. There are corpses all over. You can't tell me you no take candle. I get all the candles, okay? They belong to me. Maybe if you had a few kobold friends here, I wouldn't take your candles. But there they are. They're getting bashed right through. These Varn guys, at least one group, has over 60 kills right now. That's a lot of kills. They have a large group here. If I had a wind of death, oh, so many would die, but that's okay. And here's another charge. Look at that. Right through them. And any damage they take, and they did take a lot, that's going to be healed up by invocations. Later, you'll see many more in their group because of that. The reinforcing army led by Henrik, 
They're only fodder. It's a major distraction to use. And it's a good one. Not to mention, vampire lords can be strong. I'm glad he's here to keep them busy at the moment. There goes some fell bats. I'm gonna move in some units too. And we're still fighting. What else do we have? An invocation healing up these blood knights. Now, don't forget, they do have a cap. So, Whispering Nell, even though she's got the capability to regenerate health, there is a cap to it. Eventually, it's going to stop. And now we're back into the middle of it. The VAR guys are just playing with food right now. I can't believe how powerful they've been. And you can see how good all these dwarves look. Look at that. They're still fighting a bunch of skeleton dwarves close by. But they have shattered. They're done for it now. There's too much fear. They're being hit from all sides. They're being hit by several units, and there's no way for them to win at the moment. No, that's it for them. Pretty soon, they'll be joining the ranks of the undead, and they shall continue to serve. Now over here is where things are going to get even bloodier. Pretty soon, they'll probably break as well. I have a feeling we're gonna see a chain shatter, you know? <laughs> now there's Henrik, fighting on his own. He's like, make fun of my lack of hair, will ya? Look, I'm sensitive about it. I can't feel things, but it doesn't mean I don't have feelings. So let's zoom out real quick and have a look at what he's doing. Yeah, they're just keeping everyone busy. They won't be able to break them fast enough. Maybe if they had more time to get more variety, but I want all of you right now to keep in mind that we're still in the very early game. I've just been able to amass a lot of power early on. And it's taken quite some time to get my army together because there are so many dwarves that are fleeing, so we're still actively killing them right now. There's even a bit of a levy attacking. Oh. He went flying, that was interesting, or he ran, I'm not too sure. I think he went flying, though. I can't believe how good everything looks right now. It's like watching a movie, even for me, and I'm here controlling it all. But there they go. The dwarves are fleeing, never to see their home again. Their clans broken, their families destroyed. The undead have done it once more. Man, elf, dwarf, it doesn't matter who you are. Now over here is where we've got some allies that are being diminished. Some zombies that are losing two dwarf warriors. They've got their two headed axes here. Their double blades that are chopping apart a bunch of zombies. You're right, we're not breathing. We can't waste air. There's no air for us to utilize, alright? Now we're back over here still fighting. We've got some more allies who have come close by. Some skeleton spearmen, zombies too. More dwarf warriors are here. They're not going to kill any necromancers. And once more, because we've got so many fleeing units, it takes a bit of time to reorganize. So if anything, they're keeping us busy at the moment. But we're going to move in. We're going to say hello. We're going to greet them the way that we know how. The only way that we know how. And so we've got these miners... They're losing to my Grave Guard. My Grave Guard were here to counter them. Look at where they're fighting right now. They did a great job at countering. They're just fighting together. They're keeping them busy. I've got, right now, more units who are charging in. Far guys and all. You're right. The Book of Grudges is going to be filled, but it'll just be a very angry Dwarf Teens journal, okay? Because you can only moan about your problems. You won't be able to actually solve any of them right now. Let's go down and just have a better view. Look at that. Just bats hitting them everywhere. It's been a great battlefield. They're losing. They are losing at the moment. I'm finally getting my units into position. That took a very long time, but we're finally getting it done. But look at that. They've now since shattered. They're done for. There's nothing more for them to do at the moment. They're leaving. Wow. What a way to go. But that's okay. We've done our part. We've kept everything busy. We've destroyed them all. Now we could chase down a few if we want to. We're going to finish them all after this battle, though. They'll probably have one last attack. They'll try to retake their, you know, hold. But it'll be for nothing. 
because we're going to hold. That was a good win. We got them. We got them really well. We did lose quite a few, but we've got the numbers on our side, you know. That was a major battle. Wow. Okay, well, goodbye to them. And that's only one step of many to come. We've got a few more battles to fight. What's over here? Some new items, which I'm not going to go over entirely. Ooh, missile resistance. Considering we don't have a lot of ranged units, I mean, that'll be quite handy, I think. All right, now what else do we have over here? We've got our reinforcing army. I wonder if I could take out what's left without having to really worry about another turn. Yeah, sure. I did get their garrison initially, so that did work out. All right. I'm going to loot and occupy. Sure, they might be unhappy, but I'm here to cause a few issues for them anyway. We did it. Okay. We'll need a good name for that location. Let me know if you've got any ideas. 25,000 dwarfs, all cattle to me. They cannot migrate. They're not allowed to. Export all food. Let them go hungry. I don't mind. Now Lydia finally made it over to level 10. We'll give her fell nest. Fell bats are free. I might get more later on. I'm not going to give her a mount just yet. Not yet. I'm here to focus on my bar guys. Now Conrad. You're rank 10 as well. I could give him his blade. Or benevolent overlord. More physical resistance. I mean he's very powerful so we'll give him that for right now. In time, they will come to see that fear is a great motivator, and thank us for that gift. Oh, that is true. Now, Frederick Van Hel, what shall I give you? Evasion? Sure. Then, for now, we've got what? Let's pick up Elusive. No, we don't actually need that. More weapon strength. We'll take that one. Later, I'll have her increase mobility for our army, but we can move pretty far already. Now for you, casualty replenishment because I'm not going to use you in battle outside of what I just did. Expanse that should do it. I'm going to have him guard at that location. We need to kill the dwarfs off. I don't know if the dominant dwarf faction will come to visit, but they could. They've got the underway. They could annoy me like that. Now when it comes to what I can build, let's upgrade over here. There we go. A lich yard. More food. We can get a necromancer. More growth as well if we want to. I'm just here for a bit more food, but look at that. Export food. No, keep what you have, I suppose. Yeah. They've got a sufficient amount. They're not too over where they need to be, but that's all right. We're getting closer now. People are getting quite fed. All right. I can't repair that yet. What a shame. Okay, I'm going to repair it on my later turn. We'll take care of that. You can skip that notification. There we go. So now I've got to wonder, do you have any other locations I need to destroy? Not from what I can tell. That's one dwarf faction. Now the Slayer Dwarfs I'll get later. How many dwarfs do we have here anyway? We're going to mistreat them. 25,000 left. Ooh. Yeah, they're not going to be here for a long time. I could use a few of our own units here. I think that would be great. I would love to get rid of a few of them. Migration possible. Yeah, I know. But don't worry about it for now. Now it's time to end our turn and rest up for a moment. They've come back again, but they're quite weak. There's my patrol moving on its own. Pretty creepy. Now, let's get rid of them. It's great training, you know. Oh, I don't mind. Come help me out. Actually, hold on. Before we even attack them again, I'll bring in our other army. Then it'll be even easier for us. Yeah, perfect. We'll all get nice experience here. I didn't want to lose too many of my undead minions. We'll take more replenishment. Thank you, dwarves. It is nice. They were angry. They wanted revenge, but it didn't work out. Now their entire faction is gone. We have many new followers, many new black cats just all over. I'm going to bring him back down over here into Jufbar in just a moment. Yes. Lydia, maybe you need to go back and handle you know who. Those blasted humans. Or we could even try to expand. I've got options over here. Grom Peak has been burned down too. I don't want to push into the dwarf lands or orc lands too deeply. Now, Karag Dromar, Kragmir. Oh, we've got Skaven. Look at the numbers. That's a lot of Skaven. All right, repair that location. We might have to get ready for a new war. Now, we could expand rapidly, but I'm trying to ensure that we're maintaining our lines 
and that we're also trying to get rid of even more of other forms of corruption, like Skaven corruption. We've also got food matters to worry about, but thankfully that place can give me a lot of food. All right, I could have her pick up a bloody stone tablet of Lamia. That's one option, sure. What else do we have? Deathly Vigor, Seduction, quite handy for debuffing. More hit points. Bestial Force, wow. So she's very powerful, incredible. Heir of Von Karstein, true. We'll look at that in more detail later on. Hive Mind, okay. Only for a local region for the building benefits. Well, that's not very good then. Over here, the Grotesque Court for my Crypt Horrors and my Ghouls too, and my Handmaidens. But for now, let's come back over here. I'm not gonna pick anything up until I can get a dragon in seven more levels. So, I would like to get more money for right now. That, to me, seems beneficial. I'm gonna take that. Now my units are gonna be a little bit cheaper. For Conrad, what else do we have? A Sword of Waldenhof. Well, sure, my friend, you can have that. All right, more weapon strength, more melee attack. He's able to sunder enemy armor. He'll get that in one turn. Very powerful. Now, Van Hel, what can you pick up? Can't get that one, your legendary necromancer ability yet, but you can get your warpstone brooch. Okay, a bonus when fighting infantry, missile resistance, more post-battle loot, and Skaven will run in fear of him. Good, good. Let's see. When the Skaven attacked Sylvania to harvest warpstone, he rose to exterminate them. This is taken from Skaven as a trophy at that time. Okay. And now for Nell. Good old Nell. What do you need, Nell? Anything fun? No, not really. I'll give you more weapon strength. Okay, at rank 12 and two more levels, you'll get the good stuff. Man, we've got so many different abilities, but again, I like to go over them in detail once we're there, once we have it, you know? But there's my army. Now let's have a look at what I can pick up. I've got a pretty decent roster for right now. I could get a regiment of renown, but I'm going to save it. One group of crosswomen doesn't do it for me. If I can find a way to get more, I'm going to do that because having like a few Sylvanian levies would be nice. Now you're rank four. There, keep your numbers going. Guard that location for me. They are very, very angry. Later, we are going to go after some neighbors. One undead. Hey, look at that. The one zombie. Oh boy. Zombie Zed. Just waving to his neighbors. I don't think the dwarves will like them. And we've got some men who've moved over here. We could exterminate some dwarves. I like that idea. Let's get rid of them. Let's start anew by killing everyone. We'll do that. Now, Temple Hop, you've got a few issues too. I could get better walls. I would also like some more corruption. I'm going to have to pick up more corruption. The neighboring factions, they're doing pretty well. Oh. The Wood Elves did pick up Mordheim. So here's our little area that I'm trying to hold on to, but we've got to find a way to get even more corruption. We need so much more than what we currently have. The Dark Kitchen, they're going to have issues too. I've conquered so much, but we're just not quite there yet. I've got to get that extra corruption going on. Untainted. Osmosis. So I could just burn down some local areas. I'll think about it. The Skaven are probably not going to bother me for too long. I don't need to hold on to Jufar. I've chosen to for right now, but I don't need to really build it up. But currently, I'm using it for food at the moment. So I'm going to think about that. But here, join my vampire court and tell me what you think that we should do. You can be advisors to Conrad, Lydia, and Frederick as well. Tell them. Give a good case. Give a good argument. And whoever has a great case here, a great strategy or plan, I will go over that plan. And it'll be your turn to take point, to take lead here. I'll follow your instructions. So give me some blueprints to follow, and I think that would be quite a bit of fun. To let you know right now, we are fighting Sterland. We do have Averland over here. They hate us a lot. We're trying to get more corruption. We are going to get more corruption. We do have Wood Elves over here, some more Dwarves over there. The Greenskins won't bother me too much. We're also fighting other Dwarves down over here, but I'm not sure if they're going to bother us. In fact, we should probably have a look right now. They're fighting the Bloody Spears tribe, Rot Guts Red Fangs, and me as well. Now, if we could have a peace treaty, that would be great, but they don't like us too much. Now, we do have a very powerful army. I do think our province patrol, our provincial patrol, is contributing to that overall strength. I'm sure of it. 
I'm not too sure, but I'm fairly sure. Okay. Wow, I just had a lot of self-doubt there. But anyway, you get my point. Thank you for watching, everyone. Look forward to a new part very soon. Do leave a like down below, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter and all that other stuff, too. I have all of my links in my video description. So as always, until then, and once we're back, we get to conquer more. Mm -hmm.